I don't, I don't back now. Not, not too much. Not too much. Two drops. Two drops. Hot ones right here. That's a big. That's a big. I command this particular drop of hot sauce to be really, really hot. Okay. There you go. Virginia style soul food or Louisiana Cajun? Mac and cheese or jambalaya? Pork chop or boudin? We're here with two friends from college that you might have seen on the channel before. Jordan Dakers Wong is a hip hop DJ born in Georgia and of Jamaican Chinese descent. Jordan Veasley, the animal expert, he grew up in Seattle but has roots from Louisiana. So we're gonna hit two restaurants, we're gonna talk food, get an authentic experience, and maybe come to a final conclusion. All right, so here we are today doing a soul food episode of Fung Bros Food. On my left, I got Jordan Veasley. What's good? As a black zookeeper, it provides me the unique opportunity to inspire children of color who come to the zoo. And on my right, I got Jordan Dakers Wong. What's going on? So on this side, we have one restaurant, Nana's Southern Kitchen, which is right behind us. And then on this side, we have the Seattle favorite, Ezel's Famous Chicken. Honestly, bro, I'm looking at the shrimp and the chicken. Okay. And, and you know what was cool? I actually got a chance to talk to Nana, and she mentioned how, like, they don't batter too much. But those recipes originated from my great-grandmother. We keep simplicity, and we haven't had a problem with it. I'm excited. I'm waiting for Nana's number two. Originally, I believe the recipes are more from Virginia, and okay. these recipes, Ezel's is from Texas, right? So I'm Todd Miner, I'm the owner. My great-grandma, Myrtle Henderson, she's from Virginia. I mean, she used her food to bring people together, teach life lessons, and she welcomed everybody. These recipes have been in my family for over 100 years. Everybody has their own different version of soul food or southern food, right? But Virginia, it's really good about the chicken, your fried fish, your fried pork chop. What's it like being right across from Ezel's? First of all, I'm super proud of Ezel's. I mean, what they've been able to do in the Pacific Northwest before there was a bunch of diversity in this area, like for that family and that legacy, well done. I can learn a bunch from Ezel's and what they've been able to accomplish. We won't be able to move at the same speed as most casual fast food places, but I'm super proud of the plate that you'll get. And I grew up here in Seattle. My stuff comes from my grandmother who was from Louisiana and then moved to Texas. My mom just, you know, it kind of transformed into more of a Seattle thing, like Seattle type of type of food. The Seattle version would it be like fried salmon? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had to think about that one. Man, where, I, I don't even know where to start, guys. Should, if we could, should start with the chicken. All right. All right, immediately, you guys, this is the Nana's wing. Okay, this is well seasoned. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Is it good or bad? I don't know. Yeah, bro, it's good. It's, it's good. good. Hey, is <laughs> that on the good side? I would say, man, this chicken is cooked perfectly. Yeah, but it's not um, super spicy or anything. All right, so we finished up with Nana's. We all enjoyed it, but we got to try and compare it to Ezel's Famous Chicken. Let's go with the regular first. It's the regular. So this is Ezel's Famous Chicken. This is the number one Seattle brand of fried chicken. Started and founded in Seattle. Let's go. There was elements that I like better of both. You know what I mean? Is that was a, like a lot thicker and juicier. Way more breading. Yeah. Feels like it's almost more of a buttermilk um, covering because it okay. kind of has that smooth crust on top that's kind of locked everything in. Right. Let's just try the spicy real quick from these This is... I know it's kind of early. What are y'all thinking after your first bites? Mm. Oh man. It's definitely closer now. Yeah. <laughs> definitely closer now. I agree. I would still go with Nana's. Same. 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 But again, I'm gonna beat this with a dead horse. Mom's better. Just All right, well, if you're gonna keep advertising that, we gotta I'll try your some. mom I'll sometime. bring some, and we'll, I'll bring it on the show. In. Yeah. When it comes to Ezel's, I think it's safe to say you gotta get the spicy chicken. But if you had to compare between Nana's and Ezel's overall, I mean, I feel like the consensus is we're more rolling with Nana's. We have so much more food to go, guys. You know what? Let everybody pick their own uh, protein. Immediately, what's catching your eye? I want Grab that shrimp. Grab <laughs> some shrimp. <laughs> Give me that Grab shrimp. Grab some shrimp. I will try a shrimp. Yes. Actually, I'm gonna go with the pork chop then. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the catfish right here. Boom! Mm. See? I told you. <laughs> I told you. Oh man. Flavorful. Mm. All the seasons was, was A1 on it. Catfish. Catfish is pretty good. It has like this very neutral taste, but that's just catfish in general. But this was really good. Like the batter is really good. Very buttermilk batter. Can you get catfish out in Washington? No. So it had to come from somewhere else, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Catfish are kind of like bottom feeders. Like they're like everywhere. Okay. And like most mostly southern states though. Okay. And they're really disgusting. They're like garbage disposals. <laughs> They eat everything. Well, uh, what a pitch for catfish. So eat more catfish. <laughs> oh man, everything was good. Nana's mac and cheese. It's very cheesy. Very cheesy. Like it has bits 
like larger bits of cheese. Is that cheese that. baked to the top though? This is Ezel's mac and cheese. Obviously comparing the mac and cheese, let's put them side to side. Perfect. All right guys, I'm gonna try both mac and cheeses next to each other real quick. I don't know what you're gonna like. Milky, less sharp on the Ezel side. This one's stuck together. So I guess it tastes homemade. See, I, like I'm telling you, homemade mac and cheese is all like if, if you pick it up and it doesn't stick together and mm -hmm. it's soupy and like spools spools out, they didn't make it right. Yeah, okay. it's like put it back in the oven. Yeah, put it back in the oven. But here's the greens here. Mm. All right, for greens, I feel like a lot of people who cook greens also throw my, ham hocks. My mom always throws or, ham hocks in them. Yeah, pieces of ham hocks in it. So I mm -hmm. feel like I always want to eat greens. I always look for that one piece of ham hock in it. Guess I know you get the, the real taste. If you guys had to pick a green oh, out okay. of the collard greens, the green beans, and you said the cabbage. Cabbage greens. Yeah. Oh. I would pick collard greens. Collard greens. Green beans are good, but uh, you know I prefer collard greens. What do you mean, boy? I just ordered them. <laughs> no, I, we ate everything. I know what it like is. we ate all of it. No, they're good. <laughs> no, they're good. No, they're good. No, they're good. But I, I like, I prefer <laughs> collard greens no, over. No, and then mix the cabbage with it. Oh, okay, oh. okay. Mix the cabbage, the cabbage and the collard greens together. All right, guys, <laughs> mixing it. The advice from that gentleman right there. What do you think? I think it's a good balance because the cabbage has less flavor yeah. than the collard greens. If you want slight collard green flavor, then it works. We gotta get into the desserts real quick. So everybody just pick a dessert. What are you, what are you looking want, at? We have cornbread, we have the crunchy that strawberry. <laughs> oh, no, strawberry. Oh, okay, right. So I JD, love chocolate. you went with strawberry. Go strawberry. Look at, look at this thing. This is a, this is a chocolate crumble, a chocolate crumble. And then a strawberry kind of part. Here you go. Look at that. Bro. So what are, what is Ooh. some other uh, soul food desserts that like we may have not seen or are not served everywhere? Cause I know there's peach cobbler, there's pineapple upside down cake. Pineapple upside down cake. Bro, okay, I see cake. that. Yeah. No, y'all are still talking, <laughs> bro. Just interrupt our whole conversation Sorry. flow. <laughs> table. Best thing on the table for sure. Wow, bro, bro, <laughs> right? We all, we all <laughs> doing <laughs> right. No. Yes. I was right. sticking to my stomach for real. Oh though. wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. wow. I don't know if the shit. strawberry crunch can follow. But nah, it's not. But we'll see. Maybe. Mmm. No, it's hard. Nah, not really. Yeah, let me see. This is good. It is good. But it's not like that. Strawberry. I would say the chocolate. reason that that chocolate one is so good yeah. is it's almost like uh, the top of a cupcake, mm. mm -hmm. but just the part you want. Yeah. <laughs> that has all the textures that I want. It's sticky. It's crunchy. It's sweet. It's soft. This peach okay. cobbler is from Ezel. The peach cobbler has a lot of peaches in it. Yo, the candy yams really are good. Whoa, the candy yams. They're good. They're good. Sweet. For me personally, I do have a sweet tooth. Mm. Oh. So <laughs> the candy yam, you don't like sweet candy yam. Don't buy my candy yams. They're candy yams for a reason. You know, the rain started coming down, so we had to speed it up. Yeah. We tried like everything really quick. So what what what'd you guys like? What stood out? I think the catfish was good, but I think that pork chop had something special to it. Okay. To be different, I'm gonna go with the shrimp. I thought the shrimp oh, was just as much good, right? They were right. pretty good. They were good. <laughs> it, was, it was hard for me to chew. I was it, like, it was tough. I love the greens. I'm a collard green fan, so I'm yeah. always eating that. Uh, do right. you guys think that categorically the, the home style spots have the advantage? I think that's a pretty good statement to make. You can add more to it because I feel like it's a different audience. Yeah. Whereas commercial, I feel like it goes to more of a wider range of people. So like right. they, they have to make sure everything's kind of like eh, desserts. Uh. <laughs> and if, if all of our answers are not the same, I might just leave. <laughs> you know, I, I like the peach cobbler a lot. Peach like uh, it was, for me. It's peach cobbler. For me. Man. For me. Oh. For me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna actually sleeper pick. I'm actually gonna go with the strawberry version. Cause you know what? I like a little bit lighter desserts. Look, man, it's okay. Because this right here is just untouchable. There's cream, there's crunch. They're soft. Yo, shop earlier, just take we this went home. to the boba shop earlier. Let me just show you that this, this is, is Jordan's, Jordan's boba order from a boba <laughs> and the dessert from Nana's. I love my chocolate. Do that. I might do that cookie and cake smoothie though. Oh, wow. I don't know. All right, so we finished up here with the Southern Soul Food before we transition on to the Cajun spot, which is in downtown Kent. We gotta try some of this True Tea Boba. And, and this kind of goes to show you like the diversity in Kent that I think is increasing as the years go on. There's, um, it's Vietnamese owned and it's a boba shop in the same plaza as we're eating Nana's Southern Kitchen. The owner talked to us about yeah. knowing him and how he's like cool with the guy, the owner of the bubble tea place. So this one is the premium chocolate Oreo cream milk tea with uh, boba. All right, here I have this rose matcha latte, uh, half red, half green. Just mix it up a little bit. Are those flower bits in there? Yeah. 
a little bit of floral flavor. So this is the handmade purple yam milk tea. I don't know if you guys have had that uh, purple yam treats at certain bakeries. I've seen them, I've never yeah. actually eaten yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. They're really delicious, so that's my reason for picking this one. I'm just curious if it tastes just like the treats. I got a uh, dragon fruit cheese foam one with uh, cherry bobas at the bottom. That one looks crazy. Yeah, this one looks crazy. Yeah. Here we have um, the lychee dragon fruit jasmine tea. This is our best seller. And then the creme brulee mi milk tea because they actually torch the top. Let's go. Uh, Yo, we have lychee that grows wild in Jamaica, which is crazy. Normally oh, when I man. drink bubble tea, I didn't even see that when we first uh, went in there. Cause that's normally when I get stuff, I'll look for lychee stuff. These bobas are like very visually they're, striking. They're, they're yes. Beautiful. Real quick, what do you guys know about like Cajun or Creole food from Louisiana? I, I just feel like most places up here aren't gonna be like that. I mean, unless they really have folks that like really came from down there, like they're in there cooking, cooking human feet and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, so your grandmother's from Louisiana? Yeah, originally. Did she cook Cajun food growing up? I feel like the longer you've been up here, I feel like sometimes it goes away. My grandmother didn't really cook like that. These people are straight from Louisiana that opened up this spot. All right, now we're gonna head down to Altha's Louisiana store in Delhi. All right, we have just arrived to Altha's Louisiana Cajun store in Delhi. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go inside, do a little shopping, try some Cajun food. I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. do it. I'm in. Okay. Hey. 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 How you doing, Gamdia, man? Yeah, I'm from New Orleans. I've been out here since uh, 2016 when we opened this place up here. Okay. It's called Alfie's Louisiana Cajun Store, and we opened it up in the name of my mother, and we bring everything from Louisiana up here. <laughs> I'm messing that up, bitch. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no market as of today. We are the only one in the state of Washington that sells everything from Louisiana. We get a lot of the basketball players. Jamal Crawford comes here. Uh, Earl Thomas used to come here, and him and his family and stuff. Uh, Nate Robinson, his family, a lot of those guys shit comes up here and stuff. We would love to come in and, and try, try a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got stuffed chicken stuff with rice and crawfish. Uh, we got alligator, breaded okra. We got catfish, frog legs, stuffed pork chop stuff with rice and crawfish or rice and shrimp up inside of it. Oh, Hunan is a sausage and stuff with uh, rice and crawfish up inside of it. Gumbo, already pre-made up and stuff from the south. We fly this here from uh, Bow Bridge, Louisiana. We got rabbit. Man, we even got deer sausage. Yo, they got a whole alligator over here. Sell a whole alligator. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we sell the whole alligator, we sell alligator nuggets, we sell the alligator tails. <laughs> we different from everybody here and stuff. You know, Nana's got their own flavor and stuff, and we got our own flavor. Our flavor's more 100% Southern, and they're more kind of a Southern East Coast kind of a thing. Right, so, right, right, right. We can get some gator? We, it, your gator's fine with me, man. We yeah. out of the gator, though. Oh, we out of the gator. Oh, 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 oh. Ever since we were kids, our mom taught all us how to cook and everything. It's 10 boys and four girls. And I retired on my day job. I was there for 30 years. I retired there two years ago. And then we get ready to expand this place. And we finna bring all the stuff from Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and the Caribbean. He's from the Caribbean. Jamaican, yeah, yeah. Right. My grandma is from originally from Louisiana, but uh, she moved to Texas when she came here. Really, she didn't really cook. So like, I didn't grow up with deep stuff. By her not being able to get the stuff in, you kind of lost it. So we gonna bring you back one. <laughs> <laughs> Any chips or snacks or desserts that we should get to go along with this food? We are, uh, we got pecan pies, get them out of Bow Bridge, Louisiana. And then our boudin is our really number one, uh, boudin and our alligator nuggets here is our number one sellers. Okay, we have set up a table right outside of Altha's Louisiana and Cajun store in Delhi. At the moment, we were not able to order the etouffee and the jambalaya and the gumbo, but we have some pretty pretty New Orleans dishes. Guys, we're gonna fight the train in the background. We have a whole set of po' boys here, fried oyster po' boys. Well, who's down with the oyster? I'll try the oyster. Smoked sausage I'll po' boy. That one. Okay. We got the shrimp po' boy. The shrimp? shrimp. All right, I got the catfish because I love the catfish from uh, Nana's. Yeah, Louisiana that. po' boys. Hey. The oyster, oh. okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good spice on there. What would you have liked or not liked about it? I'm a very person. picky dude, bro. I don't, I'm, not I'm the, shocked. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of like messy things. Because you know, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm actually diagnosed with OCD. Okay, I, didn't I like that. my hands clean at all times, which is why I always have a napkin in my hand. Okay. But I, I fight it. Yeah, I do. I'm okay. fine. <laughs> you know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Ah! No, this is really good. But like, the oyster, I've never had it that way. Having like this, like deep fried oyster is actually really good. Like it's giving like, it's, it's like a really soft. I've actually never had um, smoked sausage in a sandwich before. Yeah. But then this is really good. All right, all right, let's open this up. Is that a thing who can take spicy and who can't oh, eat spicy? Oh, absolutely. Is that a I'm more vocal about my lack of ability to eat spicy foods. Right, you are not scared to reveal it. You right. might get roasted. Like, I <laughs> might get roasted. Is it hot? Woo. 
for me, my mouth is not on fire or anything, but when it hit my mouth, I was like, oh yeah. Bleh. So we just had the po' boys, guys. We are going on now to their premier item, which is the boudin. Boudin. He pronounces it boudin, I thought he said. I swear that's what he said. Boudin. Boudin is a sausage is stuffed with uh, rice and crawfish up inside of it. You guys, let's try the boudin rice sausage. Yeah. So this one, as you can tell, it's really soft because it kind of fell apart. Boudin sausage. All right. Wow. That is good. Hold up. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, it has a kick though. Mm, Yo. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, this almost tastes like, in some ways, almost like a jambalaya in a sausage. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's like one of the best Yo, things we had today for sure. I'm That's not gonna up lie. There with the pork chop. Boudin, I gotta give that, for me, like a five out of five. I would recommend anybody get the boudin sausage. What is that? Oh, that's tamales. Oh, so they, they just have tamales. that on the menu. <laughs> they also have egg rolls too. Oh. And we have hush puppies hush here. Puppies. So it has um, a little seasoning inside. Right, it's like cornbread. Here's my take on hush puppies. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we got our little, little table, table set up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Go and join them. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> the the, the way you call that is boudin. Boudin. Boudin, boudin. okay. Mm -hmm. Personally, what's your favorite po' boy? I eat shrimp po' boy. <laughs> 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 Y'all okay. enjoy it, man. Okay. All, right. All right, guys, let's try the fried okra. This one is better than these else, 100%. Yeah. Hands down, mm -hmm. way better. They're not like overly gooey on the inside. Is it the batter too? Yes. The batter's a little bit more of that uh, crumbly batter. It's better. I'm gonna say this at the beginning. It looks red. That means it's gonna be spicy. Your red alarm, your red alarm. The red alarm is going off right now. Very crumbly. What can we what do to get you to try some of that? Come a little on, bit of slap in my mouth. Oops. I don't, I don't back, no, not, not, not too much, not too much. Two drops, two drops. Hot ones right here. That's a big, that's a big. I command this particular drop of hot sauce to be really, really hot. Okay. There you go. Slap your mama. <laughs> Slap your mother's yeah. a nice addition because it's really tangy. It's not that spicy. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself. No, I'm, I'm good. That's it. That's it. One trip. One trip to We're going to put it in slow motion. Some, that one. some music, some triumphant music. I'm yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> wait, what? I stand corrected. <laughs> it was a medium level heat. Chicken and waffles. Never gets like, old. No. Like, <laughs> old. Chicken and waffles is so great. There's not many things that are better. Bro, no, that was good. I might have to get some more syrup. You know what I like about how they do it here at Altus is that the waffle is soft and fluffy. You have the, the crispy chicken and then the soft, soft waffle. We have a squirrel friend right behind us, so we oh, should not feed creature. the wildlife. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Question. They're animals. Question. You in the city do not throw bird crumbs at the pigeons. No. No. Okay. I was doing that last yeah. week. Well, you give him the Mike Tyson at that point. You give him the Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson had pigeons. He has pigeons. Mike Tyson has pigeons? He has pigeons. When did he have pigeons? Oh my god. Maybe he was a conservationist too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, this is a tamale here at Alpha's. Alright. Oh, this is an tamale, yeah. Look at like taquito, like taquito, taquito tamale. Yeah, tastes like mm -hmm. a cheese bean. Alright guys, finishing off here, we have one of their pecan pies. Everything in the store comes from Louisiana, even this pecan pie. And it's good. crummy, yeah. This looks good. I don't... It's gooey, it's chewy, it's crispy. Dude, this was really good. This, this, this is my favorite dessert we had today. Wow, I'm gonna just right. say it. The, the crust, dude, it's like got the, almost like a baklava type oh. like honey glaze mm -hmm. to it. And mm -hmm. That is good. That is, it's one of my favorite desserts for sure. All right, everybody, that is wrapping up our Southern soul food versus Cajun food. It's not really a battle. Obviously, there's different styles. What was your guys' favorite things, man? As far as the pork chop goes, I'm gonna go back and get that for sure <laughs> my favorite protein was probably ooh, I think that pork chop man my favorite side was probably mac and cheese from Nana's not from Ezel's I'm a shrimp guy so I, I kind of lean towards the shrimp just because that's my thing the biggest thing I enjoyed was the oyster po boy for me I was gonna say uh, I really like the boudin sausage oh candy yams yeah. candy yams from Nana's I, I gotta roll with the catfish at Nana's because I just love fried fish when the guy told us to mix the cabbage with the, the collard, collard greens. greens. I thought that was cool. My chocolate little thing at Nana's, it is probably not my favorite today. Favorite might have been that strawberry one. Ah, Whoa! I told, yeah. I told you, Wait, I told no, you. Honestly, I told you, you it's a good middle ground. It <laughs> if, if all of our answers are not the same, I might just leave. Hypocrite. You know what's weird? I'm gonna go with the pecan. The pecan pie was, was, was good. good. I'm gonna go with the, the, the pecan pie too. 
Uh, I'm just gonna roll with the chocolate crumble on this one because that was the best single bite. And I'm not talking about Billy. I took one bite of the pecan pie. It was great too. You know what it is? You guys didn't meet Nana. I met her earlier before you guys came. I have. <laughs> Y'all like this now. Yeah, like this yeah. Now. I guess for the people who are watching at home, and what's one dish that they gotta try that we didn't have today? Gumbo. 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 I'm not gonna lie, some of the best gumbo I had was at a barber shop in a crock pot. You know, people were coming Ooh. through getting cups. <laughs> it was it was good, man. Back at Tacoma. Wow. <laughs> what no, what bar? All right, we had to come back on another day to get the etouffee. This is an Ooh. incredibly Cajun Creole dish. Here at Alta's, they are keeping it super authentic Louisiana. You know why, Andrew? They don't serve every dish on every day. Traditionally, it's like you want to switch up the menu every day just so you don't run out of each thing and just so you can switch it up on people so you're not eating the same thing over and over again. And that's what Neil was telling us out there. Um, I think a lot of people are almost more familiar with gumbo and jambalaya than with etouffee. Man, David, let's oh, try man, it. I'm excited to try so it. So this is only crawfish. There's no other meat in here. There's no sausage. Crawfish etouffee. Mm. That's good. Oh my goodness. So good. A little spicy, very smooth though. And the taste of crawfish, I would say it's a little bit more of um, almost a denser flavor than shrimp, but it's yeah. smaller. All right, that's it for the etouffee section, but back to finishing the video with Jordan Veasley and Jordan Dakers. <laughs> so, so hold on, I, I gotta show a shameless plug. Jungle Jordan, follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. TikTok now, I make TikTok videos about fun animal content so you guys can learn about some you know, cool animal facts. Super simple, man. I play music around the city, you know. And Why you down? Don't play it. 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 Play I'm part of a group, Fancy DJs. You can follow us on Instagram at Fancy DJs, all one word. You can follow me. Um, at DJ Jordan, see all my trick videos, yeah. routines, I, funny stuff I put up. What is wrong with playing the hottest track six times in the night? Because there's a billion songs. Why would you want to play the same song over and over again? Crowds what? are different than DJs. It was like uh, um, Jay Z and Kanye Watch the Throne when they yeah, had their okay. pair song, right? Uh, oh, they okay. want to play over and over. Well, everybody knows these are the songs that everybody wants to hear, right? And DJs, they kind of meticulate their night into a certain area. So, like, if people are you know, walking there at like one o'clock and it's like, yo, did you play the Drake? And I'm like, yeah, I played it like 30 minutes ago. Where were you at? Can you play it again? Or like, yo, it's 10 o'clock, the door's just open. Can you play the Drake? I'm like, I just started playing records. Is the panda overrated because it doesn't have, it can't survive on its, without human intervention? No, or they, they, or they that doesn't, survive. that doesn't matter. No, they can survive. But, they were losing their, their territories. They were losing their environments. And realize that these pandas to, to breed, they need quiet and they need seclusion, they need to be alone. So they're shy about mating. Extremely. Kind of. So you said oh, the pandas yes. really are Asian. What are some underrated animals that you like, that you would like to share with the world and be like, yo, check out these animals, they're cool. Wolverines. Okay. They are so fun and chill. They get a bad reputation for being like, you know, vicious. They're so sweet and so smart. And, and otters, I love otters. There's a lot of people love otters, but uh, I think um, those animals need, need a little bit more love. Like snakes, for instance, people are just terrified of snakes, but they're just trying to live, man. Like they're out here, out here vibing. Like they're fine. Like they're just chilling. Like they don't want you to bother them. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. That wraps it up for our Southern Soul Food versus Cajun food. Let us know in the comments down below what are some dishes that we did not have that we should have tried, and then also let us know another cuisine that we should do a similar video with. If you like this video, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and until follow the Jordans. Follow the Jordans right here. And until next time, we out. Peace. Hey. Jaguar versus a tiger. <laughs> what species of tiger? Yep. The, the, the best fighter of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Bengal tigers and Siberian tigers are the two larger tigers. They would win. They're just pound for pound stronger than jaguars, even though jaguars are really muscular.